Whoa, we did it. We made it to the Kingdom of Hungary, which um, is going to be a lot more fun than the countries coming up next. Um, Iran. You yeah, know, that could be fun. I'm sure it's a cool mod for Iraq. Ireland. Uh-oh. Wait, is that... Does that say Italy? <laughs> Hello, my gravy babies, and welcome back to Hoi for A to Z, the series where I play every single starting nation in Hearts of I4. Vanilla, that is. So, yeah. Why are we still here? Oh, yeah, that's right. Just to suffer. <laughs> uh, remember, guys, uh, History Boy t-shirts and hoodies going away October 13th. If you want to get one, they're gone forever after this date. So go ahead, get one right now. Link in the description down below. There's a lot of you've already got them. So um, thank you very much for supporting that. But soon they'll be gone. All right, so welcome back to another fun little game in Hearts of Iron 4 where we like to try to survive and create a good mental health well-being. I haven't, uh, haven't quite got that last part down yet, but we're giving it a good go. As you remember when we did Austria, we specifically did not do Austro-Hungary. Austria-Hungary. The Australian Hungary, uh, simply because it's actually one of the big parts of the Kingdom of Hungary's focus tree, which is pretty cool, I suppose. Not sure why it's Hungary and not Austria, though, but yeah, paradox works in mysterious ways. And you know, I have done Austria Hungary loads of times on this channel already, so I think today we're gonna switch it up and try something different. Oh, we could try and do a Central Powers Reunited run. Uh, why, why the hell not, eh? Oh, what should we do for France, though? Hmm, I guess if we're gonna have a Kaiser on Germany, maybe we should try and get France to go communist. Aye, right, so we've set it up so the Central Powers should reform, Germany should go to the Kaiser, and Turkey should reform the Ottomans, and I'm obviously gonna have to redo that whole Austro-Hungary scenario. It just it went so well the first time, if you can't tell, look. It went so well. I can't remember too much about how this works, but I'm pretty sure for the most part we demand Austria, then we demand the Czechs. And the Czech one, I think, can be a bit tricky because most of the time they either say no, become your puppet, or you annex them. It's literally luck of the draw. I'm pretty sure I remember correctly too. Yeah, ever since the La Resistance, uh, France actually guarantees Yugoslavia and Romania. I'm not sure if those go away. They might if they flip communists, but we'll see. Otherwise, I don't know if we'll be getting Yugoslavia just yet. I will build a military factory. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Did the Austrians build that or the Hungarians? Who, who was behind whatever this is? Now, I'm sure the best scenario with actually doing Austria... <laughs> doing doing your Austria doing doing your no so I'm pretty sure the best scenario with getting Austria is that you actually want them to say no because if you go to war early you actually lose this immediately rather than having to get rid of it later that's right guys handy hoi for tips with ISRO productions here's another one go outside hey look at that poor little Frank he never catch a break can he he got put up a picture of Frank right now look how sad he looks this is what you this is what happens when you don't make Frank happy by by buying a History Boy t-shirt! All right, now, here's hoping our boy, Mr. Mackinson, actually wins this, or it's gonna be a little bit awkward down here in the Central Powers of just me and Turkey. It's kind of weird if you go ahead and do uh, Secret Rearmament. It allows you to go to Partial Mobilization, but not Early Mobilization, you know? If we got Early Mobilization, they might catch on that we might be building a factory, but if we go balls to the wall, they might also know we're doing early points. <laughs> oh, good news. The German military junta went ahead and didn't die. Congratulations, well done. Why don't you get yourself a cool little hat to wear and celebrate? Oh, you've already got one. Nice. Uh, meanwhile, we are demanding a referendum for the Austrians to join us in our glorious nation of Hungary and Austria. We can call it Hungro Austro. Now, you can also take Austria by force and get the conqueror on them immediately, but uh, I'm just going to risk it with the referendum, but I would prefer to go to war with them, but we'll see what happens. Uh, well, it's not bad, but we do get all the Austrian troops, which should keep us afloat until we can get rid of our uh, Treaty of Poopanon. So there is a benefit of actually, you know, not going to war as well, because you do get their troops, but... um. We are stuck with this. But we should get a little bit more manpower once we call this and form Austria-Hungary, but with Disarm Nation, which can't get rid of it till we get rid of the treaty, not gonna get a lot 
I so did set it up for them to go carless, but uh, if they actually do manage to succeed, I'm not too sure. But I'm just bored of seeing the same Franco face over here every time we play. Oh, good news for us. We have 300 political power now. We've done the bled agreement. Bled? Oh, we can switch it up to limited conscription, which should help us in stealing Czechoslovakia. A moment of truth. Like, I've reloaded this damn focus like five times, but finally... They accept it. Right now, more importantly comes the question of Yugoslavia and Romania, both of which have a meddling little Frenchman involved in our affair. Because we have a god tier amount of aluminium from Hungary, we do actually want to get out a lot of planes, which I will try and get some synthetic research done as well, so we don't have to import our rubber from potential enemies. Uh, but for now, those potential enemies are the only reason our little aeroplanes will have tires on them. Uh, you know what I said about Carlos Spain? Well, Carlos Spain did not do too well at all. Uh, Germany, I'm gonna need your help in getting me some territory. Please. Pretty please. Right, hold on. Sorry, I reloaded it because I said no, and I asked France. France is gonna help me. What? That's one way to get around a guarantee, I suppose. This is a very confusing series of political shenanigans that I can't quite wrap my head around, France, but... Okay. Uh, it's good to see Romania is just as fun to invade as ever, though. It's alright, though. <laughs> I'm heading to Bucharest on my horse. I oh, don't know. I've been foiled <laughs> by the Romanian horse. Hey, right, there we go. And, uh, thanks, France. This is... I don't think we're going to be friends in the long term here. Now, I could have left them out of Bessarabia, but I'm not going to because I kind of want to fight the Soviets. The yeah, problem is I don't know how to get around the whole Yugoslav thing. I do have a non-aggression pact with France, but if I justify on these guys, will that stop them coming in? I don't know. We're going to have to find out, and it'll probably be a reload, honestly. Uh, I'm not kidding. There's been a lot of reloads, as you can probably tell from all of these save games. <laughs> uh, that's the only real problem with the Hungarian tree is it's a very much RNG scenario half the time. Hey, I'll make a safe here. I'll try and march to the shore. If we can go ahead and get this sorted without France joining, we will. If not, we're going for Poland. Oh, the Germans are trying. Oh, they've made their faction. Okay, that's pretty cool. We won't join yet. Let me try Yugoslavia first. I don't want France getting jealous and, um, joining the war but uh i don't think france is gonna join the allies so i will join their faction if i go to war yugoslavia and might just try and steamroll france immediately that'd be pretty cool it is imperative that we actually get yugoslavia i don't think the uh the uk will actually guarantee them because i'm not aligned then on line and i'm pretty sure there is like a debuff for them wanting to guarantee those nations for some reason that i'm not too sure but we do need to get them because if we get them we can reintegrate the empire and get all this of course which is important, then I don't have to shoot people for not wanting to be part of my empire. Alright, here we go. Tactical save, because anything is about to happen when I press this button. France did join! Uh, <laughs> but the Mexicans declared war on the Gua Gua Oh, the Mexican Soviet Republic. That's a spoiler for something I did. Alright, so that non-aggression pact I got through the uh, Romanian war, I, I think that might have saved our bacon. And the fact that, uh, well, they love me. The people in France love me. Oh, well, it's, uh, it's really popping off over there, eh? Ooh, and there goes Yugoslavia. And now we get ourselves a whole bunch of manpower. <sighs> Of clicking buttons. And I think it's time we officially join the Central Powers, baby. They're not quite a historical Austria Hungary. We're a bit bigger, a bit blobbier, but we're better. But can we also get Poland? Oh no, that's gonna be the start off for World War II. The British are definitely not gonna let us get Poland. For now, I guess I'll have to settle for Italy. Oh, it doesn't matter anyway, because Poland joined the Central Powers, which is fine. I mean, it I kind of still want this, but maybe I'll come back for it later. Uh, yeah, I might need some German assistance for this one, that's for damn sure. Oh, but thank God we can finally move our, <laughs> our conscription up, because we, although we didn't get all the cores, don't have a lot of manpower right now. Oh, yeah, you know what? I'll put these to uh, uh, good use, Poland. Uh, not too sure you'd give me your troops, Poland, Germany. Uh, but I'm putting them to good use on the front line meat grinder. Don't you worry. Oh, uh, <laughs> 
I think, yeah, Poland immediately is starting to take their forces back from me. Oh, I'll give them some credit. They have actually broke quite a few of the Italian troops down here. That's good. That's going to make it easier for us to push. There we go. Sneaky naval invasion. <laughs> Last ditch efforts, eh, Italy? Well, that's no problem for me because I'll be dealing with those guys too. All right, boom. Italy dealt with. Not too much of a problem, but Germany did just declare war on Belgium and the Allies for some reason. I don't know why. We're still trying to figure it out. And uh, I would help, but I'm not going to. This is this is all up to you, buddy. You got it. Oh, France finally went communist uh, after they joined the Allies. And um, <laughs> now all the German Empire declared war on Belgium, who was in the Allies too. I'm still not getting my head around this one, Germany. Uh, also, Turkey was supposed to go to the Ottoman Empire. This don't look like the Ottoman Empire, because you're also in the Allies. <laughs> I don't really want to go to war with the Allies, for the simple fact they've got America in their faction. They don't have America in their... Wait, they don't have America in their faction? I have a dastardly plan. Uh, Dutchman fascist, by the way. It's going to it's gonna go into my dastardly plan. Uh, this, this also is going to fit into the dastardly plan. Step one. Declare war on the Dutch and hope they join the Japanese. Perfection. Steal the land from the Germans, although they, they didn't give me all of it. I'll just take these and build some airfield. Next, we join the war. Oh my god, I got the naval invasion immediately. Okay, go boys, go. Go, my pretties, go as I, I'm bombing so much. I'm going to assume there ain't much of a British presence in Britain right now. All right, surprise. Austria-Hungary's back! Uh, we have overthrown the British pretty damn quickly here. And then we just need to get the French and we get a peace deal with the Allies. But the Germans are going through southern France right now, so that might be pretty easy. Ooh, there you go! Nice! Uh, I was kind of hoping they'd have a bit more artillery than that, considering I'm missing 2,000. But you know what? I'll take it! A bit, a bit of a weird look indeed, eh? But, uh... We're, we're rocking with it. And I think, France, we could have been best of friends. Oh, my God. Okay. Didn't realize that we're doing Gallipoli round two over here. If you guys could hurry up and... Oh, why, is, why, why is that capital in Met? I was going to puppet these guys after with the British because I kind of want to steal their navy to deal with the Japanese, but I don't think there's going to be much left. Oh, thank God. All right, first off, let's get Turkey back on the correct side, shall we? So I guess I'll just give half of France German I'm sure Bismarck is having a heart attack in the afterlife, just with the imagination of that. Yeah, I'm not really interested in taking the rest of this. Uh, I guess we'll do some LARP. Oh my god, it's just like my favorite mod, Kaiser Reich. Uh, I've seen better peace deals, but uh, we puppeted the British and the French, and now we need to deal with the Japanese. So yeah, good question. What navy did I leave you with? Okay, four battleships, a few destroyers, and Britain, you still have a pretty big navy. Okay, you're gonna get at it. Here you go, old chap. Sorry for blowing everything up. I'll build you some new roads. How about that? Don, how does like a thousand convoys sound too? Fantastically damn rambly tastic, I imagine. I had to rush my way over to uh, India because it's all going tits up already. You take over for a second and the, uh, the Italians appear in Goa. Why is it just Hungarian Raj? Why not Austro Hungarian Raj? I guess we know who wears the uh, pants in this relationship, eh, Austria? <laughs> Cuck. Goodbye, Britain! And hello, Mr. British Navy. Ah. All right, thank God we actually uh, also stole some British planes for these, or else this would be a, a very quick naval battle, really. Uh, I'm pretty sure someone once asked me, like, what you should put on your boats, and uh, I only ever put fighters on, because fighters uh, will, will fight the enemy's fighters and deck wipe them, but bombers won't do that, and these guys still have naval attack, so they will still damage enemy boats. So there's no point not just having a bunch of fighters. Uh, you could, if you wanted to, just put naval bombers on. So you could go right up to the, the coast if they're far away and just bomb them in port. That's the only real reason I see to actually put naval bombers on there. But um, yeah, I just put fighters on because it's easy to clap the AI with. There you go, Horphy. Finally got you a navy to have fun with. Go, 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 go! Welcome to Operation Clap Them Cheeks, baby. <sighs> 
Thank you very much, Japan, for making me come all the way here to clap your ass. I forgot this whole damn war was about Mexico <laughs> declaring war on El Salvador as well. Okay, so I guess I gotta give Mexico the land, eh? Early for being a little B-I-T-C-H, I'm gonna make sure that you pay. There we go. Got rid of that little bald fella and put this little short fella in charge instead. And now there's only one enemy left to be dealt with known as the Soviet Union. Germans just died. Ain't never done war. With Ireland, Canada, New Zealand, South Africa, Mulder. Yeah, he's just got the whole gang there. Great, Germany. Yeah. I'm out of here. Oh, well, well. I went ahead and left the faction and the Germans declared for my puppet France before I even got my troops ready to kill them. That's not very cool, bro. Oh. Someone just nuked Berlin. That wasn't me, I just want to say. I've just been sitting here, slowly building uh, modern tanks, because I've never used them before. And, uh, I guess America got fed up with Germany shit. So, you know, I gotta say, I haven't done a uh, cast build in a while, but, um... Yeah, big numbers. Big, big numbers of damage being done by the cast right here. Uh, right. Beep, beep. Coming through, everybody! Make way for the Austro-Hungarian Express! Oh, rating on modern tanks expensive and not really any better. Uh, I think I'll just stick to mediums from here on out. <sighs> but finally... Finally! There we go. After a nice slap on the buttocks to Germany, we've given them some land back, but they also lost quite a bit and, um... Quite a bit and... Quite a bit. And I gotta say, I'm happy with these borders. This is looking pretty nice. And there you go. Finally, we get the central powers how it was supposed to be. Uh, albeit I don't think France and Britain were invited last time, but you, yeah, you know how it be. Well, it may have been a hot minute, but uh, finally, we we're gonna deal with the Soviets. Well, uh, I'm just rolling over the Soviets, uh... I forgot that I've got Finland in my faction. Uh, you know, I think it's safe to say I may have pocketed uh, the majority of the Russian army right now. Uh, Casualties-wise, 10 million dead Russians to 1.4 million dead Austrians, Hungarians, Romanians, Yugoslavs, Serbians, obviously, and then, you know, the Bosnians are in there, the Albanians, uh, got Germans, Italians, Romanians, Bulgarians, Polish people, Czechs, Slovenians. Croatians. Pretty much everyone, really. The Brits are here too. Oh, are we can we get 15 million casualties? Can we can we manage to do that? Is there is there any Russians left fighting anywhere? There's not a lot of you guys left. Um uh, maybe. Oh. Done. Oh, uh, thank you for 420,000 guns. Alright. There we go. We have done more than enough damage to this world at this point. And uh, I gotta say, we're looking pretty good. <laughs> I know at some point though, China somehow stole Japan from me. I, I don't know how. I don't know if I accidentally released them or what, but I, oh wait, no, they get the damn thing where they can just demand them become their puppet. Did I have them as a puppet? I don't know what happened over here, but uh, China stole Japan from me. And then they made communist China blue. Hey, but if you enjoyed this video of Hoi 4 A to Z, feel free to leave a like and subscribe button down below. This was austro Hungary, and there are some interesting nations coming up, so stay tuned. Hit the sub button down below, and uh, oh my god, it's 1948. I need to go.